Now to a medical alert. Two new studies out this morning could change the way three million women at high risk for breast cancer guard against the disease. For the first time, recommending MRIs for all of those women. To explain this new development, we turn to Dr. Mar Marisa Weiss, an oncologist and president and founder of breastcancer.org. Thank you so much for being with her. Tell us a little bit more about these new recommendations and who it affects. Mm -hmm. Well, we know for all American women, the three important things are mammography, your doctor's examination, and your own self-examination. Mm -hmm. But there are women who deserve extra care and attention. And those are women at high risk for breast cancer. These are women who have a strong family history, maybe a mother, a sister, or a daughter affected, or two or more, or maybe ovarian cancer in the family. Mm -hmm. Someone who has had a proven breast cancer gene abnormality, one of those genes that kind of runs through a family. Somebody else who might have a personal history of breast cancer, has had breast cancer herself in the past. And then women who have had Hodgkin's disease treated as a young woman. These women are at higher risk for getting breast cancer relative to somebody else in the, in the, in the, in the general population. And they need extra care and MRI scanning, magnetic resonance imaging scanning, which is a test of the breast, is important to find breast cancers as early as possible. It doesn't replace all those three things, sure. mammogram, your doctor's examination, your self-exam, but it's an extra way to look in depth into the breast to make sure that you get the benefit of early detection. So if you're at high risk, you yes. should do this. If not, just the same recommendations? That's right. And for women who are at high risk, they also need to be evaluated more often than once a year. They need to be checked out every six months. So that's mammogram, in alternation with MRI scan. So January mammography, July MRI scan, along with the other things. Now, Dr. Weiss, I don't have to tell you this. People at home are, are listening to this and saying, oh, great, MRI. That's very expensive. Yes. My health plan does not cover that. What that's do they right. do? And I hear that in my practice. And at breastcancer.org, people say, how am I going to pay for this? Because yeah. it does cost about $2,000. Very important is you have to make sure that your doctor is convinced that you need it. Print out what you see at, at breastcancer.org and what you hear about today. Bring it to your doctor and say, this is important for my life. You know, this is my greatest gift. I need to protect it. I mm -hmm. need you to help me. So when your doctor writes the prescription, it has to be complete and persuasive. Also get your insurance company to pre-approve the cost so you're not stuck with the bill after the test is obtained already. Mm -hmm. And also you should do that and, and, and have it pre Approved. Pre approved and we know that MRIs sometimes they get a bad rap that they're not um... they're very sensitive tests and they find a lot of things but in the next study that was just came out the, right. the New England Journal of Medicine there are about a thousand women who were diagnosed with breast cancer and MRI scan was looked at to you look the was used to look at the other side to see was there a cancer that was missed in there that mammography didn't find and in those women, they found about 3% about of breast cancers in there that were missed by mammography. Mm. So this new study in the New England Journal of Medicine is saying that MRI scan is important in a woman who is just diagnosed with breast cancer to check out both breasts and in, in particularly the other side to make sure you're not missing anything. Again, early detection. Find it as early as possible when it's most effectively treated. So hopefully you'll never see the darn thing again. <laughs> Well, that's true, and yeah. encouraging these two new yes. reports out. And thank yes. you for your, your insight into that. We're going Thank to have you. you back from time to time, Dr. Weiss. Thank you.